Well, hello, my friend Camille Thompson here, Miss Naturalist, bringing to you another video. I'm super excited. I know you see all the cheese in my face and all of that, right? And that's because I'm really getting uh, such great uh, feedback from my platform. Uh, speaking about topics that, you know, that is relevant. Um, so I did a couple of videos speaking about my journey as a, uh, my IT career and um, I decided to venture into uh, my previous college or my former college that I went to which was Queensborough Community College. Now that video have not went viral, um, neither it went or it didn't even go over 500 views. But the feedback I am getting is great because I assume that uh, most students who are planning to attend Queensborough Community, Queensborough Community College uh, is reaching out to me about the college. Now, um, I speak about this before. Um, when I shoot video like these, is never to really come on my platform to, you know, to defame any one character, to speak bad about a college. But what I will do and share is my journey and all the good things that comes with me attending the college when I uh, attended back in 2016. Now, um, I'm glad that most of you have been asking me about uh, professors and the classes and the, the, the program, and I may not have all the answers, so I wanna encourage you. Uh, you know, I am an advocate of, um, when it comes down to the proof and credibility, go on the website itself and you can read all the programs that, that are available on the website and you can read more into it. But I figure what is attractive uh, to most of the subscribers or people who are really searching for the college is that they have uh, someone that is speaking to them uh, on video and a person that went there before and all of that, you know. So if you have not been following me quite some time now, um, I am an IT uh, major or IT technician or whatever you want to call it. I got my associate degrees in um, computer information system. Uh, from Queensborough Community College. I received my degree uh, as a computer information system major and my experience with the college was great. Um, the professors are very great people, you know. I must say you have quite a few that cared more about the others. So mostly, um, I'm not here to really answer everyone's question. Um, I've been sending emails to an individual who asked me about specific uh, topic or question, you know. But um, I want to point out some, some good things about the college and um, hopefully if you are one of them who is considering to attend Queensborough Community College, um, you know, you should. So here's my thing. There was a pitfall in one of my downtime back in 2016. When I did decide that I wanted to start college, um, I was not in a good condition. My, my circumstance, everything was just so bad for me in 2016. I never forget. I'm not a person that put my business on social media platform. However, I'm going to tell you that yes, that I had some down times. In fact, everyone have downtime, you know. But um it was a it was a decision. It was a shift for me at that time. It didn't matter how bad it was. I decided that I was going to make the decision to start school. So when I did start college in 2016, um I speak about this many times that I did switch major twice. Um, but the resources are there. I really met some great people there that was able to put me on the right track, you know. Uh, the resources are there such as um, Colt. There was this company or uh, organization within the school named Colt. And what it does, it really helped family that, uh, that needed support. Um, any kind of support, you know, and I was one of those members in there. And when I'm telling you that I got the support, there was this one lady, her name is Janelle Daniel. Uh, she was one of those advocate, those person for me that I can really go to and speak to. Uh, you know, when I had problems, I can go to her. Any kind of issue, whether it be academic issue, whether it be um, 
anything just anything I could have went and talked to her and so she was one of them who kept me on track you know and I could never forget about her um you know I can't forget about her um also I had quite a few professors that were there for me I didn't go into too much personal issue but they all knew that I have kids and whenever I had like some emergency um you know they were there to help me and um you know they were just great people. I remember in the beginning that I didn't like the fact all or most of my professors were female. Um, when I switched my major in computer information system, most of those instructors were females and that bothered me. No doubt about that because I was like, where is the guys? Where are those men? Like, I'm, I'm, I thought IT was really for men. But then it opened out my horizon. It opened my perspective that, listen, women dominate in IT. And, you know, it, it's it's a great thing. And so, um, Queensborough Community College um, is one of those great college. No doubt about that. Um, I had uh, an advisor. Her name is... <sighs> I don't remember her name in the very beginning she was great to me um, but because I kind of switched my majors twice I end up had to see another advisor you know how that goes right because we have different advisors for different programs and so as a result of that I didn't really see her that much I end up getting switched over to um, the business department um, you know and, and an advisor but um a couple people I didn't really we we bump heads couple instructors yes we bump head because I felt like some were uh, a little biased in some sense um, for example I'm not gonna disclose any instructor name but I'm gonna talk about one incident that I had and it's not I'm not talking bad about the college I'm just telling you one of my personal uh, issues that I had um, so one of those courses I took was um, public speaking which was speech and um, I was doing quite well in the class when I met I didn't miss a day was never late all assignment on time um, I did my exam one day I had an issue though where uh, that I was running out of time with the exam and we end up had to he had to teach a class and then he went into the um, the other class and five of us um, including myself went to the class and try to finish up the exam so what happened was um, after I finished it, I completed, da 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 da, everything was good. Um, up to the point when it was time for the, that class to end, um, I realized that I got a B, a B plus. And I was not satisfied with that B plus because I'm like, okay, most of, we took four exams and all four of them I hit between 85 and 90, right? I don't want to about I think 80 between 80 and 95 the most right and because they weren't hard you know public speaking wasn't hard for me I knew how to present I knew how to persuade I knew how to write a rhetoric you know based off um, you know the scenario or whatever the case it is I did well because I know my personality so when at first when I got that class I'm like hmm this is like breeze for me I know I can master this because I felt like I can speak and you know I'm not the best but a girl could help herself so when he gave me that grade which was a B plus I was not satisfied so I said to him I'm like okay how is it that I got a B plus, um, B plus professor um, I sent him an email and he responds to me that was what I earned so um, a day or two went by and I saw one of those girls and one of those girls were one of them that I saw her maybe a couple times well but she was absent for a few times maybe three to four because one thing with me I watch everything like that's just me I watched everything I analyze I scope things out and that's just me I will sit there and not say anything and just watch and then I come to find out that she got an A. She told me she got an A, in fact. So, I said A when I know that 
she got what maybe 70 on one of her exam the reason how I knew because she told me she was like a um, she we were from the same island so you know we talk um no 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 that's not right we're not from the same island she's from Trinidad right and yeah Trinidad I'm from Jamaica so but we talked you know and so when she told me she got an A, but I knew their relationship. She, um, she knew him from before the class, you know? And so I felt like they had like, uh, you know, they, they knew each other. So for her to get an A, I felt like it was based off not academic, um, not academic work, but it was based off just knowing each other, whatever the case it was. So I said, professor, listen, I'm not satisfied with this B plus and um, I know I earned for me to get an A and so when he was like well the reason why you got a B plus this is not just the work but you've probably been absent once or twice and I said when show me when when he looked in the book never been absent never been late so I said okay come with something else so he said well Camille there's nothing can, there's nothing I can do this is what you earn so what I did I went to the chair and when I went to the chair I said look I never have been late, never been absent, got between an 80 to a 95 in all my exam. I, if anything, I should have got an A minus, a-, a-, if so, or an A, but I don't deserve a, a B plus. So she said, okay, let me see if I can get in contact with him, da 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 da. She did, he put me, um, she put me on the phone with him, and he was like, what is the big deal? You got a B plus, da da da. I said, no, because I earned an A or an A minus. I did, because when I put in the work, that is what my expectation is, to, to get what I earn. So guess what happened? Two days passed by, he told me that one of my exam were mixed up in um, that class that we left, um, the class that I was in. So they had an exam too, but I ended up went over into that class. So my file went in there, and as a result, he was basing my grades off just the three exam in my classwork, and that is the main reason why I got a B plus. So when he found it, he called me, he apologized, and I ended up getting an A. So the point of all of this, all in all, sometime in life you have to push for what you know you earn. Not to make problems, because if you don't earn it, don't make problems. But I knew I earned it. And so I had to prove my point and I end up, you know, getting that A. So that was like one incident that happened, but nevertheless, I still have nothing bad to say about Queensborough Community College. I knew the resources were there when I needed help on that math. When I tell you I'm scrubby on math, oh Lord, no good on math. So, um, and that has been like my lowest score also. Um, in math, I got, uh, I think I got a, a C and I got a B plus in trigonometry. Not, I'm not happy to tell you this, but it's the truth. So, but every, um, the rest of my grades were more like B and A, you know, mostly A and yeah, mostly A and then B. So that was like an incident or, uh, one of my experience with Queensborough Community College. However, I'm going to tell you that the college is a great college, especially I can talk based off what I know. I cannot talk about other programs that I absolutely know anything about, but I can tell you that their IT uh, program is phenomenal. Their computer information system program, those professors are thorough, especially my favorite professor, Dr. Ford. That lady, I'm telling you, ever since I took that class uh, with her, which was operative system and system and analysis design, since then, I admire her and I said, you know something? One day I would like to be like Dr. Wendy Ford. I just like her thoroughness. She very educated. She know her stuff. She is very, you know, she, she know her stuff and I admire her about that. So if you're one of them that's thinking about uh, taking up an IT program, you need to get Dr. Ford. Yes. A couple other professors that I can talk about, but I won't do it tonight. However, I did have to highlight her. Um, David 
Moretti also was a good networking teacher, but I will talk about that, I promise, to most of my um, potential Queensborough Community College student. I will talk about uh, my experience with the professors, but I won't go too much into details because I'm not about like, I need, to, need for you to get a chance to know how they are and not just what I am saying, you know? So um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you all for uh, just reaching out to me. I love the feedback that I'm getting from most of you. And um, I will continue to speak about topics like these because it is vital. It's important for other students so that they feel comfortable and know what they are gonna put their self into. Uh, you know attending these colleges and thing of that nature um so yeah thank you guys for watching if you do like this video don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up and if you are brand new to this channel here just subscribe to this channel because i bring so many flavors on this channel where i talk about different things right thank you for watching bye